Hey everybody, welcome back to Kevy's Kitchen. Today we're making classic carbonara. Welcome to Kevy's Kitchen. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so that's our finished product there. Here are our list of ingredients. We've got some spaghetti, some eggs, some pancetta. We've started off with uh, several cracked eggs and one egg yolk per person. So like five actual eggs and one egg yolk per person uh, in a big glass bowl with some fresh cracked black pepper. Uh, season it to your heart's content. This is a classic, classic Italian dish and I tried my hardest not to, to stray away from the, the fundamentals and, and the tradition of this disc. Dish, <laughs> disc. Uh, we're going to uh, actually go ahead and whisk everything together nice and great. And we're gonna add in our classic Parmesan cheese. And not gonna lie, I added in way too much cheese. So guess what I did? I had to crack some more eggs. But I try to, you know, gently whisk or fold in all this cheese to create our sauce. Yeah, she's just thick. And with the magic of television, we've got more eggs. <laughs> so now our mixture is nice and set and ready to go. We're gonna set this baby to the side after we mix everything together so those flavors become well and incorporated. Just like so, that's the consistency you're looking for. We're gonna add in some crushed red pepper flakes. This is my little, little twist. I had to, you know, bring a little bit of heat to every dish, cause you know, it's delicious, it's flavorful, and you gotta make it pop just a little bit. So, you know your spice level. Don't come for me in the comments. Don't add too much, add what works for you. And the dice pancetta. This is a key, key ingredient. You want to uh, get a nice, beautiful rendering from the pancetta. You want to uh, sear this on a medium heat, medium low even, because uh, you don't want your pancetta to burn, but you really want the rendering to come off of that. But look at the, oh, it just, just look at it. It looks wonderful. Like, come on, Grease. <laughs> It should look like that. You still want it to have a nice bite, but you want it to be uh, crispy and tender all at the same time. <laughs> so it's really a labor of love for this. And you know, you boil pasta, you salt it like the ocean, and then you get it together. I chose classic spaghetti for this particular uh, dish. Um, those of you who know me, I'm really partial to angel hair. So this is what I wanted to go for. So here we go. We gotta be really quick with this portion because we're really about to get to the nitty gritty. We've thrown in our al dente pasta. I've scooped off some pasta water to the side there that you can see, and that's gonna help to emulsify our sauce. My heat is now off because we don't want our eggs to scramble. We want them to emulsify to create this sauce. So work fast. You know, you scoop it in, that's wonderful. The cheese is gonna help and they get the toss and use them tongs and put in work. <laughs> um, but yeah, and if you find that your, your sauce is not uh, thick enough or doesn't have the right viscosity that you're looking for, add in your pasta water, there you go. Give it a little shake, a little shimmy shimmy, a little toss toss. And you know, drop down a little, get, get your eagle on, that's what you're gonna do. And look at this dish, it just looks Absolutely fantastic. Kiss it with some Parmesan or some Pecorino Romano cheese, if that's what your fancy is. Why? Because it's your business, you do that. And this is the perfect consistency. Like, I am, oh, this, <laughs> in heaven, it was just that good. Um, and this is a dish that would definitely have made my Italian friends proud. I've also added in some freshly chopped basil off camera, but you know, it is what it is. Kiss it with a little more Parmesan cheese, get your plating done, get your shot for the gram, gotta keep it legit for the fans, and get your eat on. Mm, mm, mm. If you only knew how bomb this smell, <laughs> that face says it all. You already know what time it is. I can't even continue to speak. <laughs> so I'm going to see y'all next week. If you like this dish, 
Feel free to check the description box down below for the full list of ingredients. And as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.